guys thanks for tuning back into my channel as many times as i have to say that i'm never gonna get used to it but anyways thanks for tuning back in today as you guys can see by the title i'm gonna be doing an unboxing video i actually bought a handbag boulder bag specifically from von dutch this is gonna be my first von dutch piece um i did just kind of open just the outside box it's because i'm wearing nails speaking of nails This is done by me, of course, pressed by Marina. Anyways, it's not a nail video, it's an unboxing video. So, let's see. So, I actually got the black and white cow print pony hair leather small bowling bag well, let me look it up so yeah like i said i got the black and black and white cow print pony hair leather small bowling bag because they do offer now like a mini bowling bag i don't think they do that for all of the bags but um, one of the bowler bags that was released after this one they offered it in a mini option as well so I'm guessing that they're going to be doing it every now and then and it is still available on the website but I did get it on a pre-sale I think it was like right before Thanksgiving and then it shipped out um, December 1st and I actually have had it for a while like sitting literally unopened just because I wanted to film this video because actually I like watching like unboxing videos for certain handbags or shoes and stuff like that just because I like to see like how things come, you know, like what is the outside packaging, like is it pretty obvious of what you're buying, Does it, are they kind of shitty with their packaging, you know, I just like to experience nice things, so sometimes I watch like, like luxury handbag unboxing videos just cause like, when, well kind of like manifesting, my aunt says you should live as is, no, you should live as if, so however you want to live, you should basically like try to imitate that and you know like basically like fake it till you make it maybe somebody like that wants a Von Dutch bag which isn't really that expensive I mean it's a little pricey but it's not that expensive compared to like a luxury handbag so but you know like I said this is my first piece you know I've always wanted something of Von Dutch especially like a bowler bag but I didn't have the money to just cough up on a small bag so now I'm in the position where I'm starting to um, expand my collection, my closet, my handbags, my shoes, my heels, like, so I'm trying to get on that, you know, and yeah, I feel like when I was younger, you know, I would watch unboxing videos of Von Dutch bags or other things that I have now, and I didn't have back then, I just was basically just always, like, I can't wait till I'm older and I can buy everything that I want, and look at me. Okay, but back to the bag. Got off topic. <laughs> okay guys, with these, look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, I'm constantly working. Like, I'm working on these nails, I'm working on typing and stuff, so I really don't wear these except for on videos, which I like, or except when I go out, which I like. But when I do them, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that used to it. Okay. So the bag, I'm not going to repeat the name because I've already probably said it like three times. The small bag was $269, $269. I believe the mini bag was $289, which was kind of weird to me because from my understanding, the mini is smaller than the small. So, but this one was a little bit cheaper, um, which is cool. But yeah, before I um, open this this bag this isn't like a regular basic bag like this is a and like kind of weird out there bag i guess kind of for me like usually i'm always used to going like the safe route when it comes to things like getting a brown or a black bag but like i said i'm trying to expand my collection so i'm trying to get more staple pieces and also more pieces that are just like out there you know just so like if i do wear like a basic plain outfit maybe i can have some shoes that are out there or like a handbag that's out there and i feel like this handbag is going to be one of those like pieces that's just gonna kind of 
bring everything together so yeah usually i wouldn't spend this much on a handbag especially a handbag that i know i'm not gonna wear every day but this is my christmas gift to myself and i rarely kind of buy expensive things like this so i remember texting a few of my friends and sending them a picture of this bag and basically just asking like hey like do you guys think this is cute because i was kind of on the fence of buying it most people were like yeah it's cute and then somebody was like yeah it's cute but if it's over three dollars then no and i didn't really know what to say to that because i was like well first of all that's not how it works like i asked you if you think it's cute or not not whatever that answer was so in conclusion don't feel bad for splurging a little bit um if you like it you like it just be responsible with your money and make sure your bills are paid but check check and check so here we are okay so this honestly looks like shoe box it's kind of in the shape of a shoe box but more just squarish instead of a rectangle but it's a supreme quality von dutch established 1920 los angeles california and like it says the um what kind of bag it is which is a cow print black and white side Okay, 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 okay. This is a dust bag, I believe. Yeah. It's cute. A little. So usual. Now for the bag. It smells good. It smells like leather. It's kind of sad. That was kind of sad to see. Anyways. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. Look at me and my new handbag. Can you, can you guys see me wearing this? Just, you know, walking downtown Houston, maybe in Dallas, maybe at the rodeo. This would be cute for the rodeo. Like, some really cute boots and, like, just like a simple, just a simple little outfit. And then, boom, you have this bag. Okay. Oh my god, it dude is so fucking cute. I can't. I can't. Here, let me go. Just like, okay, imagine me just walking. Just, 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 just walking. Okay, but seriously, this is really cute. It smells like boots. So, this is real pony hair. And then we have like that embroidered on Dutch. And then leather. And then it has like the leather logo, Von Dutch logo. And then the little, the zippers, they're pretty heavy metal. And it does say the Von Dutch logo on one side and then the actual little eyeball with wings. And I think it's supposed to come with a little What is this thing called? Yeah, it's just a little strap. What am I talking about? It's just a strap. Oh, I like that they have like the little air air cushion in there because I have a leather bag that I got from Madewell, I believe. So it's leather and it's like kind of like a Kind of like a slouchy bag so i stuff it with like old old little stuffed animals or old t-shirts and stuff like that just to keep its form but i think i'm gonna keep this little air bubble okay so it does give me the strap so i can keep it like as like a shoulder bag instead of like a little handbag which i think i might do that like um most of the pictures they had on the website um it was a girl using it with the Shoulder strap. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's see what the inside looks like. It's kind of tight. Okay, yeah, so here's strap. Bro, my ring is literally dangling. When I when I got this, when I got this back in like 2018, the shoe was like kind of tight. And now this shit like literally is like about to fall off. But anyways, so little little sleeve i don't know if you guys can see it there's a sleeve right here and then there's another pouch like right here that has a zipper along the walls 
anything that you don't want to be loose around here. And then the rest is just pretty open, but yeah, I like it. It's like the size of my hand. You guys can see how big that is. So I imagine the mini was literally just probably be like this. The mini was really, really cute. It'd be cute as like a little side bag, but this I think is better. Get it open. Come on, lady. Don't do this to me. Anyways, what are you guys doing for Christmas? Because let's hope this goes up before Christmas. Do you guys see that's why I'm wearing all this red? I do have like a set called Holy Cow at pressbymarina.com. Um, and I wasn't aware for this video, but I, I love, like I said, this is from the new holiday collection. I wanted to wear because I want to wear my red shirt and so like I said it's Christmas time so I hope you guys have uh, a good holiday. I would like for everyone to stay safe. I would like everyone's family to stay safe and the best way to do that is to social distance but overall I hope you guys have a good safe holiday. Back to the strap. Cute, cute. That's leather. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whenever I saw the bag and I saw that it was real leather and then it said po like real pony hair and I was just like, but it's a cow bag. Why didn't you guys just get, since you guys already killed the cow, might as well just take the skin and you know, don't be wasteful. a normal day everyday type of vibe i would wear it with the strap and then like if i were to take it out and i'm wearing like some heels i'd probably just wear it just like this without the straps but overall i freaking love it i love it i love it love it i'm gonna bring her out often but not too often but often but not too often you know i gotta step on my game I can't stop looking at it, but this is still available on the Von Dutch uh, website. So if you guys still want it, and usually their bags go pretty, pretty fast, but I guess this wasn't as popular in everyone's eyes, but in mine, I love it. But yeah, like I said, this is still available. So go check it out. And when I was looking up the price, there were some new ones. So you might want to oh, hurry up. All right, but I guess I'm going to close this video out here. That's the unboxing. This is the bag. This is me with the bag. The next time you guys see the bag, might be on Instagram. Other than that, I'll catch y'all later. Bye. All right, I know I just closed out the video, but I feel like I missed one key important part of why I bought this. It's because it reminds me of Kansas and I was raised partially in Kansas. So, you know, it has a special place in my heart. Love y'all.